And Daniels, an early morning discovery of a body sent police swarming to the parking lot of Notre Dame's McConnell family boathouse. WSBT 22's Lauren Becker joining me now live here in the studio with the very latest. Lauren. Diane, South Bend police confirm a man is dead as a result of homicide. Now police are saying a second person may be in danger. People in the area are in disbelief after hearing about the incident. It was around 6.40 a.m. when an off-duty officer drove past the McConnell family boathouse noticing a body. Police believe a shooting occurred around 3.30 a.m. We do have one male black individual that's dead. Uh, we're organizing a search party right now. There was a second party that left the vehicle. We don't know if that person is still alive, if they're deceased, if they're kidnapped or what. So we have to start an intensive search. There are cameras at the boathouse and police say they are reviewing the video. Identification that perhaps this person is from Michigan. We have a plate that we just ran and we have a photo, but I want to confirm. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to run up there and see if we do have the right person. As of now, though, the body has yet to be identified. Nathan Rose lives around the corner and is shocked by what happened. I may have heard two uh, light gunshots. Um, it's hard to tell. I was sleeping um, and they weren't really loud. I, I would say it was definitely two. Neighbors say things like this normally do not happen in their area. Complete shock, obviously, and then it's just crazy because you see all sorts of things happening on social media and I see it on my phone and then boom, it's less than a minute away from my house. We spent a lot of time on the, the bike path and running path uh, in front of the boathouse. Uh, you know, I take my daughter on bike rides down there, so it's uh, shocking that it's so close. And if anyone knows who these individuals are, you were asked to call South Bend Police. I reached out to Notre Dame and the university had no comment. All questions are being referred to Metro Homicide. This is an ongoing investigation and we will keep you updated as soon as we learn more information. Live in studio, Lauren Becker, WSBT 22 News.